A dire warning tonight from a local congressman. Drug cartels are continuing to infiltrate parts of the Southland. It's fueling an explosion of illegal marijuana growing operations, much of it in the Antelope Valley and Acton and Agua Dulce. And KKL9 political reporter Tom Wade is here with the very latest on that, Tom. Yeah, scary warnings, right, Pat? It's, mm. you know, you hear the drug cartels being involved. It's obviously something to be very concerned about. Today, the L.A. County Sheriff talked about how much pot was seized during a uh, part of a 10-day operation. He says deputies could fill two SeaWorld-sized tanks that hold whales with all of the marijuana that they confiscated. Illegal pot growing operations in the Antelope Valley are now an international cartel issue. That's according to Congressman Mike Garcia, who represents the area. I want to be very clear that these are not mom and pop or legal operations uh, that we are fighting. These are large scale illegal operations in many cases being run by several different cartels right here in our backyard. Congressman Garcia says he surveyed areas by helicopter around the Antelope Valley with L.A. County Sheriff Alex Villanueva and says the illegal marijuana grows are taking over entire neighborhoods, and he says it's spreading by the day. I saw hundreds, if not thousands, of these illegal nurseries throughout our desert uh, being manned by primarily illegal immigrants. Over 90 percent of the folks working these farms are indentured servants of some form. They're stealing our water. In many cases, they're squatting on our land. Sheriff Villanueva says California's relatively lenient laws and penalties are making the situation worse. For those of you who voted for Prop 47, thinking there was going to be a legalized and controlled and regulated market, it didn't happen. No, it did not happen at all. Because by removing all the consequences for not conforming to the law, we've created this massive industry that's now the illegal grow operation up here. We counted. 500 from the air, 500 illegal greenhouses. LA County Supervisor Catherine Barger says she's working to enhance penalties for those who operate the illegal grows. Ensure that we, we don't allow this to just be like a whack-a-mole where we're closing it down one week and then the next week they open. Helping the illegal operations thrive is California's black market for weed. Even though it's legal to sell pot, there are many dispensaries operating without proper licensing, and there are still dealers selling on the street. There needs to be consequences. Some of those need to involve prison and jail. The sheriff says his department will continue to aggressively target the illegal grows. Congressman Garcia says the problem is so big he is urging more federal help. Pat, back to you. All right. Thanks, Tom.